congratulations, we're almost finished our Fabulous in February Fitness Challenge. For those of you that have been with us since the beginning, I hope you're absolutely loving your results. We've just got a couple more to go before the start of a new month. Those of you that joined us partway through, I hope that you've really got the habit and the momentum going and it'll get you off to a really good start for March. And those of you that have been watching but not quite ready to jump in, well now's your chance. Order your kettlebell, we're going to keep using them. It's one piece of equipment and that's why I like to work with it because it doesn't like take a lot of space in your home. Um, so get it now so you can join us for March. Okay, let's get going to today's workout. It's another good one. This one I'm calling Love That Feeling and just because I love that feeling of setting myself um, some sort of a challenge like the February Fitness um, Challenge and then getting to the end. It's a great feeling to have accomplished something that you set out for yourself. So this one is going to be three big movements all interspersed with swings. So we're going to start off with a squat and press a one-armed. Then we're going to go into swings. Then we're going to go into um, press-ups with one leg lifted, followed by swings again, followed by um, split squats, and then finish up, finishing off with swings. So look on the rockofit.com site if you need the exact numbers, but I'll also talk you through them. Here we go. So starting off with squat and press. Stick around for modifications at the end if you find these a bit too challenging. Here we go. Squat and press, bring the kettlebell into the rack position, bring your hand close to your collarbone. It should feel nice and secure. So, squat, press, one, two, bring it straight down before you go again, three, four, take these slow and controlled, it's not a race, five, switch sides, Five swings, double hands. One, two, three, four, five. Into press ups, one leg raised, five on each side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Switch, switch legs. One, Two, three, four, and five. Okay, we're going to five single swings on each side. Remember, back strong, shoulder strong. One, two, three, four, five. Switch at the top. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, finishing off with split squats. Nice wide stance. Feel nice and stable before you come down. One, two, three, four, and five. Again, take these slow. You want to feel nice and confident as you're coming down. One, two, Three, four, five. Finishing off with five swings. One, two, three, four, and five. All right. Well, oh, I love that workout. So you're going to rest for thirty seconds, possibly a minute if you need. You know, repeat that five times for this week's workout. Okay, into modifications. Just a few things. Um, with the squat and press, if your kettlebell is too heavy for you right now for one arm movement, just do the squat with both hands. So hold it by the horns, squat, come down. You use the momentum to lift it, so it should feel quite light on the way up, and then you control it on the way down. Make sure your back is nice and strong when you do that. So you come down, squat up. I don't want any, um, bending backwards when you're lifting an above head. So from there, if that's also too much of a challenge, 
Do the squat separately, that's fine. Okay, into the press-ups. If you're finding them a challenge to lift the one leg, just do regular full press-ups. Or what you can do, go on to half press-ups and lift the leg the same. The key with these is you want to be forward a bit so that you really feel it in your abs. Okay, finishing off with the split squats. The only thing to really think about this one is have a nice wide base so that you feel nice and stable. Come down slowly, come back up. If you're nervous about these, then just put the kettlebell down. Do them without the kettlebell. Um, the swings you should be fine with by now. If you're still struggling with single arm swings, just um, switch it to the 10 double arm swings for that middle bit. So there you go, there's your modifications. No excuses, doesn't matter if you're a beginner. Um, just take it slow, take it wherever you're at and build up. You'll be absolutely amazed and proud of yourself to see how much um, you can accomplish and how far you can come in just one month. So um, thank you so much for joining me in this challenge. I've absolutely enjoyed every second and I can't wait to bring you new things in March. So keep working hard and rock it.